This chicken Alfredo garlic bread is crispy, cheesy, and delicious. It is sure to be a crowd favorite. I know it's one of mine. Let's go ahead and make some. We're going to first start by prepping our chicken. I am using a chicken breast here because they cook faster. And I'm just going to cut these in little strips. And then I'm going to turn it a quarter turn. And I'm going to cut down again and make these nice little cubes. These are going to cook up perfectly and work perfect for the bread. We're going to season these with a little salt, some black pepper, you know we have to use some garlic powder, my favorite. And also the secret is a little Italian seasoning. This is gonna add a nice flavor to the chicken. Now we're gonna let these get room temperature. And I also have Parmesan, parsley, garlic, and shallot. Let's get started on these rolls. Using some leftover Italian rolls that I have, but you can use garlic bread, you can use Italian bread, whatever type of bread you want. I am slicing these and I'm gonna put these in the oven. Before I do that, I'm gonna put some butter and pieces of garlic on here. I want these to be nice and crispy before I add my toppings. Put these in the oven at 375 for about five minutes. While the bread is toasting up, let's get started on this chicken. I am adding just a tablespoon of oil to a hot skillet. Then we're gonna add that beautifully diced chicken that we worked so hard on. Chicken breast does not take a long time to cook. That's why it's perfect for this recipe. We want to cook this until it's no longer peak in the center, but it's still nice and juicy. Once it's almost done, you want to add the shallot that you chopped earlier. The shallot is, is going to cook pretty quickly and it's not going to overpower the meat. Once the shallot is nice and tender and your meat is no longer pink, we're going to remove it from the heat, place it in a bowl, and let's get started on this sauce. You do not have to wash your pan. We want all that chicken drippings to still be in the pan. We're gonna add the butter directly to the pan and then we're going to add the garlic. Make sure your pan is on low because garlic and butter burns. Let me check on this bread while we're doing this. And yes, the bread is nice and crispy. It's perfect. I'm going to set that to the side and finish off this sauce. After the garlic has gotten nice and tender, we're going to add our half and half or heavy cream. I like half and half because it doesn't make the sauce as thick. Once your cream has heated up, we're going to slowly add your Parmesan cheese. Now, this is a process you don't want to rush. Add your first layer of Parmesan cheese, and then once that's all incorporated, we're going to add our next batch of Parmesan cheese. Continue to stir until everything's all incorporated. You should see your sauce getting thicker. You're going to season with a little bit of pepper, not salt, because cheese is salty on its own. Make sure you taste it and it's to your liking. Once your sauce is done, it's time to load these up. This is the fun part. We are going to load these in layers. So first, we're going to layer the crispy bread with that beautiful Alfredo sauce that we worked so hard on. This is going to form a base for our toppings. After we have all of the bread loaded with the sauce, and you can be very generous, then we're gonna go in with a little mozzarella cheese. This cheese is what's gonna hold this delicious chicken on the bread. Then it's time to go in with the chicken and you want to load these up. That's why we cut the chicken in nice bite-sized pieces. So go ahead and be very generous when you are loading the chicken on top of the cheese. The goal is to have a piece of chicken in every bite. After your chicken is on there, then it's time to come back and load some more of that sauce. This is what's going to make the bread nice and creamy and flavorful and delicious. So load the sauce up. We don't want this bread to be dry. We want it nice and creamy. After you've put your sauce on there, then it's time to go back in with some mozzarella cheese. And this is where your cheese pull is going to come from. So load them up, put them in the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes. And this is what you're going to come out with. 
You're gonna garnish with Parmesan cheese and of course some parsley to make it look nice and fancy. And there you go, chicken Alfredo bread. Bon appetit, let's eat.